Hey folks, this is Riker. A new map is coming to Overwatch in September. And as of this week, Blizzard has put it up on the PTR. And of course, we are talking about... Eichenwald. Eichen... Eichenwald. Eichen... Now, this map plays like no other Overwatch map, so stay tuned for a tip video uh, to get you started in your journey into Eichenwalde. But in this video, we're going to go over the lore of this map and look around it for some Easter eggs and little lore tidbits. So the first thing to note, if you haven't already figured it out, is that Eichenwalde is located in Germany. Specifically on the outskirts of Stuttgart. Stutt Stuttgart. Stuttgart, which is a large German city that exists in the real world. As you may be aware, Overwatch takes place in the real world in the future. Some locations are made up, but some are real, and in this case, Stuttgart is a real place. Interesting little bit of trivia is that the name Eichenwalde <laughs> stands for... <laughs> Interesting little bit of trivia, the name Eichenwalde means Oaken Forest. Now, typically the word forest in German is just spelled W-A-L-D, Wald, but some speculate that the E was added to make it seem, uh, to make it seem more like a town name. And looking around this gorgeous map, you can see how it's earned the name Oaken Forest as this beautiful castle and its uh, scenic town is located in the midst of a gorgeous forest. In fact, it's likely the same forest that we see in the animated short, The Last Bastion. We did a full analysis on that video, but if you remember, you can see the castle, the Eichenwalde castle, and you also see the city of Stuttgart. So this map is actually the site of one of the most famous battles in the Omnic Crisis. We talk a lot more about the Omnic Crisis in our The Last Bastion video, but basically it's World War III with robots. It's the robot uprising. As you can imagine, the battle involved Omnics versus humans, and in this particular location, the battle was fought against Crusaders. The Crusaders were an elite military unit of modern knights, outfitted in this huge power armor. Of course, Reinhardt was one of these Crusaders. Now, during this battle, the leader of the Crusaders, Baldrick von Adler, or Balderich von Adler, along with some of his best soldiers, held out against the Omnics. They were severely outnumbered. They ultimately died in the battle. However, it is thanks to their efforts that the German army was then able to fight off the Omnic threat. Now, a lot of this lore actually comes through within the map itself. If we start off in the attacker's spawn room, take a look behind you, and what do you see out the window? Yep, off in the distance, that is the city of Stuttgart. Also in this room, you can see a battle map of the situation. Omnic artillery, Omnic infantry, the Crusader Schnell Einsatzgruppe, which roughly translates to fast operational group. I think a better translation is probably strike force. And then all the way off in Stuttgart, we have the Gebirgsinfanterie Battalion. Oh god, I'm slipping into a terrible German accent. I'm sorry, Germans. I'm trying, okay? And that giant word means Mountain Infantry Battalion. Also in this area, you can see the Bastion units. These are going to be littering the map. Signs of the battle that took place. If we look on the wall here, we have some posters, which we'll also see scattered throughout the city. Starting with this impressive looking propaganda poster. That doesn't mean die, Crusader. Die. D-I-E in German means the. And what this says is die Crusader stehen Wache. Which roughly translates to the Crusaders stand guard. This here says... Evakuierungsbefehl, which translates to evacuation command. And once again, Germans, I am so sorry at butchering your language. And under that, I'll just save you the terrible German and let you know that it says evacuation beginning, lets you know when it's starting. And what we gather from this is that they evacuated this town before the Crusaders effectively used it as a stronghold against the Omnic invasion. Presumably, they evacuated to Stuttgart. On this one here, what we're seeing is instructions for the Omnic uh, serious event. I'm pretty sure they mean crisis here. So instructions for the Omnic Crisis. 
First bullet point is keep calm. Next says don't stay outdoors. Next says keep away from windows. And lastly, it says help your neighbors. How sweet. If we go back to the tables, and also in other places within this tavern, you'll find some newspapers. Crusader auf dem Rückzug means crusaders are on the retreat. Likely means that they were falling back to the castle to hold that position. Omnix bereiten gross angriff vor. Omnix are preparing a large attack. Hoste Alarmstufe in Berlin. That means the highest alarm level in Berlin. That's probably like DEFCOM 5. Or DEFCOM 1? Which is the worst one? 5. 5. DEFCOM 5. Heading over to the other table, we can find another newspaper. Omnix March on Stuttgart. Oh, and what's that right there? That's a pretty good looking Stein. There's one final newspaper that you can find, and you'll see all these newspapers scattered throughout the town. This one just says Zeitung at the top. All that means is newspaper. Now, something you might not notice is that over here in the bar, look at that. Reinhardt carved his name into the bar. From that, we can surmise that Reinhardt either was at this battle, or maybe this was just a bar that he often frequented, but his commander's presence can also be seen here. Now, this is not for sure, but probably likely. These griffins. It seems the griffin is very symbolic of Baldrick von Adler. If we make our way all the way to the other end of the map, we find the remains of Baldrick. And as you can see on his crotch cloth, there's a griffin. The griffin also appears on his codpiece and all throughout his armor. You can see this more clearly on Reinhardt's new Baldrick skin. The beak, the wings, the lion body. It's a gorgeous skin. And Reinhardt really is spoiled with some of the best skins in the game. Greifhardt is basically an overgrown version, but even at that, you can almost make out the word Griffin in there. So returning to the map, again, in the attacker's spawn. On this crest, you see a B. Could that be for Baldrick? I don't know, but over here, again, the Griffin symbolism seems to certainly suggest it's in reference to him. So that about covers all the lore we get from this map. Going through the town, you'll see some signs and they don't really mean anything significant. You'll see bakery and a computer shop. But really, this map is absolutely seeped in the lore of the story of what happened in that final battle against the Omnix. In fact, the objective of the map is to take this payload, which is a battering ram, all the way to Castle Eichenwald, bash down the front door, and retrieve the remains of the Crusader King. If you play as Reinhardt on attack, he basically explicitly states the objective. Now, getting into the Easter eggs, the position of this fallen King of Crusaders was very familiar to me. Those who follow me for my Diablo content might also feel that this is familiar. In Diablo, there's a boss called the Skeleton King, whose corpse you find sitting on a throne in a very similar position to this. Of course, he then gets up and starts kicking your ass, but nonetheless, the similarity is there. Further, when found as a Rift Guardian, the Skeleton King is called the Crusader King. This may just be coincidental, but since Diablo is one of Blizzard's games, it wouldn't surprise me if this was at least partially intended to be a reference. And this is not the only Diablo reference in this map. If we leave the castle and return to the town, you'll find a building whose sign reads, Yakdut Edelweiss. Yakdut meaning hunting lodge, and Edelweiss meaning Edelweiss. Edelweiss is a song from the 1959 Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical The Sound of Music, named after a flower. Now, inside this hunting lodge, as you would expect, you can find an assortment of antlers hanging on the wall, trophies from animals that have been killed, and what? Yep, that's Diablo right there. Also worthy of note in this building is this framed drawing here. Belinda's birds. And that chirpy yellow fellow looks just like Ganymede, Bastion's adorable little companion. This poster suggests that these are local birds that either hunters or bird watchers might be able to find, and it's a nice little tie-in to Bastion and his short. It's this little attention to detail that really makes us feel like there's story here, and that these maps aren't just random battlegrounds to play a game on. That's not the only place we see Ganymede, though. If we head back to the attacker's spawn, and up on the second floor, you see a bunch of crests mounted on the wall. And one of those looks strikingly like Ganymede. Something else that helps unify the theme of 
The map with Reinhardt, whose origin story is most closely tied to this map, is the Battering Ram, the Payload. The head of the Battering Ram looks an awful lot like the head of Reinhardt's hammer. Another reference to the Bastion short, which is quite subtle, is that you can occasionally make out the sound of a woodpecker. This would be the very same woodpecker that triggered Bastion's PTSD. Going back to the castle, if we round this bend over here, we can see a reference to a non-Blizzard franchise. This right here, Bonfire Lit. This is a Dark Souls reference, this is a save point effectively, or a waypoint as well, in Dark Souls. Now the last thing that we're going to point out is the clocks. There's a lot of clocks on this map, helped by the fact that there is actually a clock shop. But something strange about most of the clocks is that most of them are not set to the same time, and many of them are in fact set to impossible times. In this case, the hour hand seems to be indicating that it is almost 3 o'clock, but the minute hand is saying that it's shortly after the hour. If we actually go visit the clock shop, you can see how bad the situation really is. Here we have it, a bunch of antique clocks along with sci-fi antique clocks. Many of them set to impossible times. What could this mean? Some speculate that it has something to do with Sombra, but honestly at this point, I think we're just going cuckoo bananas. If you do want the scoop on what's happening with Sombra though, check out this video here, and we'll wrap up our video now. Thanks for watching, leave a comment with your thoughts on this new map. Stay tuned for my video covering tips for this map. Again, it can be frustrating because it doesn't play like most other maps. Special thanks to my Twitch supporters and Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Check out these other videos and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders to be alerted when my next Overwatch video goes live. For the past two weeks, the Overwatch world has been going absolutely crazy over the latest Sombra clues. For about a month now, Blizzard has been giving us secret hidden clues as to the identity of Overwatch's next character, Sombra. And this currently 